Hello there, this is the one, the only, Stray Cat, and this is episode three of Skyrim. Okay, now, since we left off, we left off here at the temple, and uh, I upped it to 60 frames a second just to see how it goes, so I'm not entirely sure. I can leave you if I want to, shut the fuck up. I wanted to see how it affected the recording in any way. Normally there's a lockpick or two on these guys, so I tend to look through them just to be entirely sure that I'm not missing anything. Okay, you're pissing me off. I'm going to shut you up. You you did it. You killed it. Now cut me down before anything else shows up. Where's the golden claw? Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door in the hall of storage. Uh -huh. I know how they all fit together. Sure you do. down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Oh, I can probably believe it. Let me see if I can catch you down. Okay, thank you. Let's actually see if we can burn him down. Because... This might be fun. <laughs> it's coming loose. I can feel it. Yep. <laughs> that was completely on purpose. Because I knew he was going to run. I, I pressed the wrong button. Arvel's journal. My fingers are trembling. The golden claw is finally in my hands, and with it the power of the ancient Nordic heroes. That fool, Luke and Valerius, had no idea that his favorite store decoration was actually a key to Bleak Falls Barrow. Now I just need to get to the Hall of Stories and unlock the door. The legend says there is a test that the Nords put in place to keep the unworthy away, but that when you have the golden claw, the solution is in the palm of your hands. Yeah, I don't need to carry that on me. Load it. Damn malarkey. And because I like setting things on fire. Wee! Wee! Wah! Okay, I'm done. That's enough for now. No! Who wants to pick those up? Stupid piece of crap or doodle. Okay. Drop that. There we go. I really do this come... I really... Motherfuck. <laughs> you lose 20 IQ points, I swear to God. Anyway, I really hope that this recording comes out okay. I hope the switch to the 60 frames a second actually does affect it positively. Because otherwise I absolutely did this for no reason at all. And I'm just going to be a little upset about the whole thing. Top to bottom. Anyway. Sneak around here a bit. Sneak away from the Draugr. I don't need the arrows. Check this guy. I heard someone moving. Yep, that was someone moving. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Draugr are normally heavily affected by fire, which is a good thing here. Okay. There we go. All right. That's the stuff. Bone meal is actually pretty good as an alchemical ingredient, and you'll find out why when I'm actually able to get to a uh, spot to use it. A uh, great sword actually would probably be better than my iron sword right now. Yeah, it is. So. Equip this one. I did put some effort into making this stronger, so I'm going to keep it for now. Just so I can sell it later. And more bodies. More bodies. Yep. That and I prefer the look of the... Uh, Draugr greatsword as opposed to the, uh, excuse me, the uh, greatsword with the uh, actual steel make, because uh, I just don't like the uh, Nordic uh, design that much. Okay, or it'll not 
even be too effective. All right. And cut you in half. Thirds now. All right. All right, that'll do. And oh, you snuck up on me. Bitch, you fall. And this guy is going to fall too. Oh, cut you in thirds again. There we go. I do love the animations that they put in this. I don't know why I picked that up. Because it actually is very realistic, at least for the great swords. In their cutting animations. Not so much their blocking, but... Yeah, it's actually very realistic in some respects, so I do like that. It's not as much over the top as some games are. Which is nice. Definite change of pace. Uh, let's just drop the arrow. Eh, I mean, I could technically hold on to them. I mean, they have no weight, after all. Let's see if this guy has anything. Yep. Alright, and... Oh. Woo! Up. Okay, that was the good stuff. <coughs> oh, excuse me a second. Actually, I've just been sitting here uh, soaking up the darkness. Cause <laughs> it's about 6 o'clock right now where I'm at, so it's pretty much dark at this point. Anyway, to continue on. Oop. Okay, then. And down you go. Boom. And I'm going to try a little trick I've uh, practiced with this particular run. Yeah, let's... Whoop. Whoop. You're blocking my way, bud. Okay, this not working. Alright, time to run and set a flame. There we go, that's working. A lot better than it was the first time. Alright. That pretty much does the, all the damage you need it to do for you. Alright. That could have gone super south <laughs> if they did not give me that opening. <laughs> oh, good god. I should really think a little more clearly, but I'm <laughs> I'm commentating over this. Of course, my brain's not going to be entirely functional. It's trying to think about English. You know, the language I speak. There we go. And fall. And whoop. There we go. I'm surprised I haven't found any gauntlets yet. That's really weird. Anyway, let's continue on. This little chain here. Man, I look good. <laughs> well, as good as you can in iron armor. Iron armor's kind of bleh. But. So, let's pick up some iron. This takes a while. I mean, I know a way that make it not take as long, but I just like watching the animations that they put in the game. It's fun. And scroll of fireball. Yeah, not my cup of tea. Keep that there. All right, let's sneak around here. Sneaking will always be your best friend. It'll keep you from being caught unawares by anything around you that you have not yet figured out their location. Hopefully this works. 
Oh, they were too far away when I first started. There we go. And body, 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 body. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> um, let's. There we go. That does it. Why did I pick that up? I don't want that. Ah. Dingus. The hunting bow I can resell. That I want. Other than that, no. Nothing. And I think we got this way. Doing that whole thing always throws you off a little bit. Yep. Yep, this is the way. This is the way to your destiny. Alright. Restless Draugr, of course. And... Yep. Whoa, level up again. There we go. That does it. You're dead. You are so dead. <laughs> Do I really want to put any points in Magicka yet? Just put in health for right now. We're going to level up his physical attributes first. Then we'll upgrade his mind a little bit. My ears itch, itch, itch. Why is it itchy? Okay. Two-handed. We'll leave that alone for now and put points into smithing. Why not? So that way I can make more heavy armor and then bada bing. That's good for me. All right. Oh, wait. Chest here. da da la I hate it when it does that. I hate it when it does that. Okay. Uh, Warhammers. Eh. Don't get me wrong. They're good in their own right, but it's not my style. I prefer the quick hit. That'll cut you in half. That's always nice. <clears throat> All right. Let's look through this a little bit. And if this actually benefits the recording, I'm gonna keep it at 60 frames a second then. Oh, okay. There we go. Alright. Oh, I heard you, I heard you. Okay, that works. And... That'll give me a couple precious seconds. There we go. Of course, now it's my bane. Uh, try and get up to that guy. Oh, there we go. And burn, baby, burn. <laughs> Down you go. Did that arrow just drop off of him? Okay, fair enough. Let that be for now. Let's... Yeah, I think that's all that's going to be up here for now. I can smell dinner from the other room. It smells good. Yeah, if any of you don't know, I actually live with my parents right now. Until I can get my own place. Which is in the future. It's very far in the future at this point. But it's still in the future. Now, this one is pretty simple. I've memorized it down pat. You just basically do all rings twice. And keyhole. 
He's found one of the keyholes. That was a reference. I hope you got it. Otherwise, we cannot be friends. Go. All right. Now, let's continue on through the dungeon. First, when I smelled it, I thought it was something in my equipment burning. I'm like, oh, God, no. Not now. All right. Little known factoid. I discovered this while being bored one playthrough, but there's actually a hidden chest right back here. I don't know how it ended up here, but... Novice lock. It'll let me... There we go. Perfect. Flawless garnet. And it does tend to have some pretty cool stuff, so I tend to hit it and get it going. I'll just put that on, because I like... I like silver. I mean, that's why my main fursona silver. That's besides the point. Moving on. Gregorian chant over here. And a word of power. Force. Unrelenting force. Oh, boy. Draugr Overlord. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Ah. Okay. Okay. That's rude. You're being really rude about this whole situation right now. Okay. And last strike. There we go. You are down for the count, bitch. Alright. It's a good enchantment to have. I'll keep that. So I can disenchant it later. Frenzy! Okay. Scroll of Mass Paralysis. See, this is the Steel Greatsword design. I don't like it mainly because it cuts down the amount of blade you know, sharpness and whatnot that you have to connect with your opponent. That's that's not something I like. Sure, it'd be good for half-sorting. You can grab the middle there and give it more of a thrust, but I just don't like it. It, it seems superfluous. Resist shock. That's actually pretty cool, a pretty good enchantment to have. So I'll take that, take that, because, you know, because I'm needy like that. And... Continue on. Here we go. Activate handle. <gasps> oh my, a secret entranceway. Oh my god. All right. Anyway. Drop down here. Whoop. You, you may see me walking around a lot and looking around even though there's nothing there. That's because I'm a dumbass and I just like to check either way. <laughs> okay. Up I go. Da -da -da. There we go. Alright, how far along are we? Okay, we'll give it a couple more minutes. We got a couple extra minutes. I was going to cut it down to 15 minutes, given how much grief I had uh, trying to upload the 20-minute first episode. But I decided, you know, it, it works the way it is. Potion of alteration. Potion of useless. Uselessness. I kid. I mean, I use alteration mainly because of the transmute ore. But other than that, it's basically... Okay, let's keep going. I know there's a... There's the vein. Random. I haven't even checked if half of these are legitimate mineral ores you can mine up or not. It, they probably are. I mean, up to ebony is probably real to life. I mean, I know malachite exists to an extent, but... I mean, it's not in the form that it is in here, but... 
I know there's another iron vein somewhere. Let me get over that. Oh, man. My recording setup is set up in a way that I can actually do this without losing voice. Uh, the audio for my voice as well as, you know, everything else. But it puts me in a position where I'm kind of hunched over and it's not great for my back. My back's fucked up as it is. My job and whatnot, but... But, yeah, you probably find that out. I have my Tumblr uh, linked in the description of the about part. So, you could probably ask me a bunch of questions there if you so choose. If not, you know, it's cool. I don't... I don't mind. Not one bit. Okay. Brittle Shin Pass. Now, this is a spot that I want to save for a different video. Speaking of which, uh, we're already out of time. <laughs> Alright, thank you ever so much for watching. Uh, we're going to save this here and uh, call that good. And there we go. Thank you ever so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like listening to my voice. Uh, click the like button if you like the video. And I will see you in the next video. This is... The one, the only Stray Cat, signing off.